see, I said about a 709 or a 707, but, you know... <laughs> you're, going, you're changing your mind now? No, no, 709, 709, 707, okay. EY, I think, yeah, certainly. Well, there's Asha Phillips. You're going to enjoy her reaction from the crowd, I'm sure. A little bit more serious than we normally see her, which I think it bodes well. She's taken this really serious. She is the defending champion here. She has the experience. She's got the pedigree. Can she raise the game just one more time? It's a good field. Can she come out on top? Steve Cram. Well, as we've uh, already been talking about, there are two in particular. There are others, but there are two who look to stand in a way. This is one of them, Eva Svoboda. And she is the European under-23 champion at 100 metres and won the bronze medal last time round. And you know, it seems like she's been around a long time. She was such a good young talent as a teenager. Del Ponte is uh, certainly having a very, very good season and wasn't too far behind Asha Philip in that semi-final, the Swiss and then Mihalinic of Slovenia. But you throw in uh, Daphne Skippers and Kambunji, then you can see the high quality we have here. So let's not forget that Kambunji won a bronze medal at the World Indoor Championships last year behind Talu and Ohure. And then you have, of course, Skippers, a two-time outdoor champion and uh, world champion, but has won this title before. She won it before Asha did in 2017. And then we have this youngster in here, Crystal Awuha, the 19-year-old world junior bronze medalist last year and is acquitting herself very, very well this indoor season and must be very excited about the prospect for her in the summer. So two British women in here. We saw a clip earlier on of Bev Kinch when Jane Christian was in the race with her. We were first and fourth on that occasion in 1984. On your marks. Skippers. And then Svoboda. Svoboda, the one who seems so suited to the 60 metres. Good starter, smooth sprinting action, ideal for the 60. But has she got the nerves to hold it together here? Can Asha Phillip repeat the victory from two years ago? Women's 60 metre final. Sir. Asha Phillip gets a pretty good start, so did Kambunji, so did Awur, but here comes Svoboda. Svoboda's going to take the gold medal from Skippers, it's 7-0-9, it's gold to Poland. I think Skippers got in there for the second, for the silver medal, and then it's tight after that. But look at Svoboda, well I said could she stand up to the pressure, she was the standout athlete coming into these championships all season, she's been very, very good indeed. And the only question is, could she hold it together, put a performance in on the day, and the emotion starting to come through, and a shake of the head for Asha Phillip. I think the warning signs were there for Asha, for me, Colin, uh, earlier today and in the semi-final. She was going to have to be very, very good to beat Svoboda. Svoboda just looked to be getting better and better, and let's hand it to Skippers as well. Another big performance from the tall Dutch athlete. But the emotion of what this means for this young lady, a European title, beating a very good field. Yeah, it's been a very good day for Poland. Gold medals left, right and centre. But this young lady, as you said, Steve, she showed so much promise as a youngster. And we've been desperate to see her really pull out a big performance as a senior. Today was her day. She was solid through the rounds. She was flawless in every way. And she came to this final knowing what her capabilities was. And when she exploded out the blocks, boy, oh boy, she put the whole field under pressure. And when you're in the groove already, as was said in the studio, it's very difficult to shake yourself out of it. And it was a race that only she could lose. People are going to work really hard to take the title from her. Very emotional. She's 21. Boy, oh boy. World's her oyster at this moment. Let's watch her here out of the blocks. No stress or strain. She knows there's talent inside her, but she's still keeping focus and she drives toward the line. She's just losing a little bit of form as she's desperate to get to that line. But she did it, and actually, she did it quite comfortably. And the two British women fighting for the bronze with Kambunji, and it's Asha Phillip who's been given the verdict. At the same time as Awuha, this time did lean much better than she did earlier in the day. But Svoboda, the title 
and all of the plaudits really belong to her dominating performance really in the end skippers as ever finishing strongly and it was a good run skippers actually had a very quick reaction time the quickest of anybody in the race but she takes a little while to get up to top speed and that took her through to the silver but asha phillip is uh, taking a bronze medal she doesn't look too pleased with that and that's a measure of the standard she sets herself but she's just pipped her young teammate for the bronze yeah i think you know she was talking a lot about that possibility of breaking her own british record if she'd managed to have done that today that gold medal and that title she would have retained but Svoboda has just been so brilliant through this championships and it's hard to beat an informed sprinter who's confident with their running consistent with their running that's going to be always a really difficult challenge. But look at that. It was a real blanket finish, wasn't it, at the end? And Holland, the Netherlands, they've had a great day, haven't they? Medals in all the finals we've seen so far. So a very strong day for the Dutch team. And Poland, 1-2 in the uh, pole vault. And uh, one thousandth of a second, literally one thousandth of a second between bronze and fourth. That is like a literal hair width almost. So Asha Phillip just ahead of the 19-year-old Chris Lawuha with a personal best, superb performance from her 7.15. Kambunji just a hundredth behind. Skippers just a hundredth ahead for the silver, but no doubt about the champion, Eva Svoboda. Well, Eva Svoboda there, just so emotional. And Dina, you said you're so pleased. You've known her right through juniors, mm. and she's never won any titles before. I have, and she's always been so phenomenally talented. And she's she's kind of struggled with a few injuries over the years. But when she ran a 7.08 earlier this year, early, early in the season, um, John, my coach, and I, and among the training group as well, we thought this is going to be her year. But um, I would have loved to see Asha win because obviously it's on home soil, but um, it was a great performance from Ewa. You've got to keep the faith, haven't you? And you're such a talented junior um, and, the, you know, the expectation of your country and the, your, your friends and family. And then to take it up to this level and then to be able to deliver, I think, shows her a very composed young lady. And hopefully she will kick on outdoors, even though I know she's a, a 60 metre specialist. Let's have a look back at the race, Michael. Yeah, I mean, she did the same thing she'd done all through these championships. Just got a really good start there and just transitioned well out of the drive into a max velocity and just controlled the race from start to finish. She was under a little bit more pressure there out of the start than she had been in the past. <laughs> we're not surprised. She's surprised for some reason, but we're not surprised because she did the exact same thing that she had done. Very little wastage. I mean, in terms yeah. of kids, young people watching and, you know, looking at sprinting technique. Yeah, this is how you do it. I mean, it's, it's about efficiency at the end of the day. An efficient athlete is a faster athlete, and she's a master at that, you know, Hopefully she can transition that to outdoors, but you know, indoors, like you said, she's a specialist. And this is the type of championship that's really good for athletes like that who are trying to prove to themselves that you know you have the type of talent that you you know you've shown from a potential standpoint. And now she's realized that in a championship, and this was just amazing. You could see what it meant to her, and she had you know an amazing athlete over there on the left in skippers who we talked about and said you know you can't count her out and she certainly put together a much better race here in the final than we've seen earlier in the rounds i actually got up a little bit high again out of the blocks and that's the problem she comes on strong at the end and she equips herself well very patient there because she's got that experience and she's been here and won this before but just that that initial out of the blocks you know she gets a bit high and that causes problems but you know for her to get a bronze medal here i think was really good for her given you know she hadn't had an amazing season she hadn't been running as fast as she had before in the past so i think that that was i'm sure she's happy with that performance and the same time obviously uh, as crystal Uha when they were separated by thousands of seconds obviously ended up going to asha but for crystal that's huge progress she's had PB. an absolutely amazing season yeah i think she brought her pb down to 719 when she ran in Germany earlier in the season. So to bring it down again in a championship final, in a race that was like that, it was so clustered, it was so easy for her to tense up and kind of lose her nerve. But she did it and she executed. She almost came away with a medal, but it's an experience that she's, yes, going to hold. There they are in the mix zone, ready to chat to Radzi. Well, Daphne, Skip, Daphne Skippers, Asha Phillip, we can see just the smiles on your face. You're two very happy people. Daphne, I'll start with yourself. A silver medal. What does this mean to you? I'm really happy with this, like I changed my coach and I do a lot of new things and yeah, it was not the best few season, but I'm very, very happy for this final. 
and Asha Philip won one thousand. I mean, look at this here. <laughs> look at this. You are a happy customer. Um, I am. I mean, I well, two years on the balance, I'll be able to come and get come, come here and get a medal. Obviously, everyone wants to win gold, but obviously that wasn't unfortunate today. But I'm happy to still get a medal. And how talented is Crystal, by the way? And one for the future. Honestly, I was so upset to like to get that medal from her. It's like, oh my god, it's it's, it's heartbreaking because she is a talent and a new PB in the final. And as a junior, that's amazing. So I've got so much high hopes for her. She's got like a long way to go. Like this, the, the future's hers, basically. And Daphne, with yourself, the season is very, very long. What are your plans for 2019? First, I take some holidays. Like I'm going, uh, I'm, I'm a little, little puppy now, so I spend some time with him, and then, <laughs> then have some time and grow into the season. Yeah. What's your puppy's name? Max. So, so out.